to make a splash, a look inside the city's competition style swimming pool. Hello El Paso, I'm Ricky Saias. Thank you for joining us on Your City in 5. Well, it's another first for El Paso. In a few weeks, the city will open the first indoor competitive style swimming pool. The West Side Natatorium, as it's being called, sits on Wallenberg Street near Mesa Hills. The certified 50 meter Olympic style pool will mainly be used for major swimming competitions. City TV took a tour of the new facility. The pool has been filled. The lane markers are in place and nearly all of the electrical lighting has been finished. It can be used for a variety of swimming competitions. It has eight lanes for 50 meter meets, 16 for 25 yard meets, and a water polo area has been added. The state of the art filtration system is in place and it includes dehumidifiers. Dehumidifiers um, over the, uh, on the roof, which will get the humidity out of this building. So once you walk in here, it will be a comfortable atmosphere. You're not going to feel it uh, humid like you do in any other pools. The pool has stadium seating with padded seats for spectators and competitors. It can seat more than 700 people. If you think the inside is impressive, the outside is something to appreciate. It has large windows, a lighting system that can shine different colors on the walls of the building at night. A giant public art piece will adorn the entrance and welcome visitors. Plus, there will be plenty of trees and shrubs as well as artificial turf around the building. As for parking, more than 200 spaces have been added. City engineers say the new facility really is something El Pasoans should boast about. They should be very proud of it. We now have a facility that a lot of people in this region don't have. The Big Splash project cost about $15 million. Work crews are putting the finishing touches on the building that should be ready to open in the spring. With that pool set to open soon, the city's aquatics division is hiring seasonal and year-round lifeguards. Free lifeguard courses will be offered during spring break in March at the Pat O'Rourke Recreation Center. Lifeguards are also needed for the city's indoor and outdoor pools. We have a lot of facilities that are coming on board. We really need to make sure that the safety issues are met by having lifeguards that are attentive. So we need to make sure that we can hire as many lifeguards as we possibly can to keep the pools safe. No prior experience is necessary, but you do have to know how to swim. For more info on training and where to apply to become a lifeguard, call 212-0397, that's 212-0397, or visit the Parks and Recreation website. Now that tax season is in full swing, did you know you can get your income tax done free of charge at various senior and recreation centers? The Parks and Rec Department has once again teamed up with AARP to help El Pasoans file income tax forms. The service is available through April 13th. Again, it's absolutely free for qualifying residents. For more info on locations and times, call 311 or visit the Parks and Rec website that's listed on your screen. Valentine's Day has come and gone, but hopefully your heart and the heart of your loved one is still on your mind. The Department of Public Health is celebrating heart health all month long. In addition to increasing your physical activity and reducing your calorie and sodium intake, officials say eliminating tobacco is one of the most important ways to improve your health. Most people don't realize that within 12 hours after stopping smoking, their carbon monoxide levels drop to normal, or that within two weeks of quitting, their circulation improves. The health benefit in the long run of being tobacco free is that you reduce your risk of coronary heart disease. The health department's refresh program offers tobacco cessation classes to anyone in the community. For more information or to schedule an appointment, you can call 212-6602. That's 212-6602 or visit ephealth.com and click on the health education and promotion link. Baby fever is spreading at the El Paso Zoo. Several animals are expecting, among them the Asian wild horse, two-pronged horse antelope, and an addict named Makina. The zoo is anxiously awaiting their arrival. We're actively saving animals from extinction, not only through breeding programs, but also working uh, in the habitats where, where these animals are in danger. A pair of roadrunners are also building a nest for spring. You can see all of these animals for yourself by visiting the El Paso Zoo. That does it for us on this edition of Your City in 5. Thank you for watching, but make sure to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're also on City TV. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in 5.